Following on from the last video, I'm now going to reduce the value of n and see what happens to the curve y equals x to the n. Now this is the graph of y equals x to the power 0 0.5 and this is where the graph has a phantom and that is also x to the 0.5. Now let's continue. Finally, y equals x to the 0, of course, is a line. Now let's go into the negatives. And I'll turn this so you can see what's actually happening there. Now that is y equals x to the negative 0.5. And you can see that the phantom is in the plane at right angles to the xy plane. Continue decreasing. And then we get y equals x to the power negative 1. And this phantom is back in the xy plane. Let's carry on further. The phantom is now in the in the um, plane at right angles to the xy plane again, and when n equals negative two, we get the curve y equals x to the power negative two. I'll just carry on now. There is y equals x to the power negative 4. I'll just um, increase the values and go through to the positives again. y equals x to the 0 again. y equals x squared, y equals x cubed, y equals x to the 4.